In this video, we'll be discussing some miscellaneous layout topics. We'll talk about white space, what it is, how to use it correctly, and how to use it incorrectly, as well as how to use the right type of quotation marks in your poster. What is white space? It's basically just the empty space around the different components or sections of your poster. By components, we mean a block of text, an image, graph, chart, or anything that you've sectioned off in some way. Sometimes presenters try to cram so much onto their posters that there's not enough white space. This results in a poster that's hard to read because the eye doesn't know where to start or how to navigate the poster. It also makes the poster feel cluttered. As you can see, it's possible to have too little or too much white space. Another problem we see is that people don't leave enough space at the edges of their poster and their content looks like it's falling off the page. Finally, if you're printing your poster as a trifold poster, make sure you keep your content away from the folds, which are indicated in the trifold template. Chances are, if you've downloaded a template, it's fairly well laid out with respect to white space. For now, just remember that white space is your friend. So keep your stuff spaced out. Keep enough space between different sections so that it's easy to tell there are supposed to be separate sections. Let's talk about quotation marks. One thing we see often is the use of straight quotation marks rather than the proper use of curly quotation marks. Usually PowerPoint is set to automatically correct this, but if you notice that your quotation marks are showing up as straight, here's a quick fix. Go to the File tab in the PowerPoint and select Options. Then in the Options window, select Proofing in the upper left-hand corner, and then click the Autocorrect Options button. When the autocorrect options window opens, select the auto format as you type tab at the top of the screen and make sure that straight quotes with smart quotes is selected. It should be the first one on the list. Any quotation marks you type from now on should be curly quotes, but notice you're turning this feature on won't go back and fix any straight quotes that you've already typed. You need to go back and change them manually now that curly quotes is turned on. That's it for this video. There's more at MakeScience.com.